Salutations, my good friends. We are about to get into another Yeezy Boost, as you can see right here. And this one is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 MX Rock. Even though it says on the Le uh, Lundmark? I don't know why they call it Lundmark, but anyway, it's gonna be part of the fall 2021 season. The MX Rock edition of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 comes with a similar pattern from the MXT Moon Gray Yeezy Foam Runner featuring a dark prime knit upper, as you can see there, with brown and dark gray textures, and an all black stripe. A dark brown laces uh, lining atop a boost cushion sole completes the design. Now, you should be looking to see these come out later on this month, uh, September 2021, for those of you seeing it um, later on, you know, after the release, and they should be setting it for $220 USD or MSRP, which is manufactured suggested retail price. As you can see, we just look at the tag right here. Just looking at the overall upper, the prime upper, I, I really like this shoe. Um, looking at the overall colorways, it re really kind of reminds me more of like a, a chocolate cake, kind of a marble cake than anything else. As you can see the boost design here, and we see the Adidas on the toe underneath. But yeah, um, you see your reflective Adidas signs in the back there. So yeah, I'm glad that I was able to pick these up. Let's look at these uh, tags right quick. Nothing really worried about not really worried about these tags because at the end of the day we're not going to be scamming we're just keeping these on feet as you can see on the screen here um so i'm glad they gave me the tags that's what's up but as soon as i got them i just ripped them right off the shoe and definitely knew what to do you see i did to beat the boost easy with the kanye so yeah we are going to take a look into this and talk a little bit more about these shoes let's get into it hey how's it going folks it's your man Taikisa. just doing a quick uh overview of what we just discussed here. Let's go ahead and get these uh, Yeezys out the box right quick. All right, taking a look at them right here on screen. So I can see right here, boom, boom. Looking at them here, they kind of remind me of like a, a chocolate cake type of Yeezy, you know what I'm saying? I know they, I know these are known as the MX Rocks, but rocks aside, this really looks like some chocolate cake right here. This looks like uh, <laughs> The most expensive chocolate cake you're ever gonna buy, basically, because these are gonna release for about what 200, maybe 250, uh, and then after that, you know, it's gonna be resold for God knows what. Now, for most of y'all out there that want to, you know, pay that type of money for a retail shoe, that hey, at the end of the day, it is on you to do so. Either way, I'm happy for you as long as you get to wear the shoe that you want to uh, wear or cop. Um, I just finished speaking with someone earlier that we were talking about Yeezys and things of that nature and he told me he spent a good amount of money for the uh, 350 V1s but he was happy about it you know what I mean he, he didn't feel like any regret on buying those shoes and he ended up trading some shoes that he owned just to try to lower the cost because the cost was still 700 but as far as him putting his own money into it, a lot of that was recouped by the, sh the pairs that he sold. So he really only paid like half the cost of the resold pr price of the shoe, but he was happy about it. And that's what it's really about. Whether you get the retail version of this shoe, right? Or you get the, uh, you know, the, uh oh, sorry. <laughs> the international version of these shoes. Then, you know, as long as you're happy with the purchase, that's what it's about. Because if you're buying shoes or anything for that matter, and then you get that buyer's remorse, you really didn't do the research for that, that item or whatever you end up buying. Um, and, and you just, it just didn't sit with you yet. You just kind of brought it because it was there. And it really should be, you buy things because it does, you know, make you happy to buy them. And at the same time, you feel like it's gonna make you look better. You know, now of course these are only 5% of your outfit and 5% of your overall outlook <laughs> as far as what people see, but as long as you feel strong enough and happy enough and confident enough to rock these on feet, that's what it's about. Um, I know I say it's the love of the shoe from me to you, but you got to have love for yourself to wear these things and be confident to wear them because call out tonight, <laughs> you got to be in control of your own life. But hey, I'm not a psychologist. I'm just a sneaker reviewer at the end of the day. So yeah, these shoes are definitely fire as far as I'm concerned. I just like that. And I'm just going to, my perspective, right? I just like the chocolate like cake kind of lines right here. You got the milk chocolate right here, the dark chocolate right here. Look at my eyes, look at my eyes. And then you got the black right here. I mean, yo, the 60% the Keiko uh, color all over this upper right here. And I know y'all like, what? Stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm just saying that's what it reminds me of, like a, a, a chocolate cake uh, shoe. But 
Um, either way, if we look at it from a technical perspective, it's definitely a soft um, outsole because of the boost technology, which is something I love about these shoes. At first, when I first saw these Yeezys, I was like, hell no. You know, when I started uh, wearing these things and feel the comfortable, hell, even my wife, <laughs> she said, you know what? Give me another pair of these right here. Not these particular colorway, but just give me another pair of Yeezys because it's, they're very comfortable. So I finally got my wife on board on the Yeezy train. And I'm very proud of myself and pat myself on the back because that took a year and some change. Just like the rest of y'all out there who may or may not be watching this video. Some of y'all probably not watching because you don't like Yeezys. But the ones that is watching this is like, eh, I'll get them eventually. And the ones that actually own these whether these are the V2s or the V1s that you own, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These things are comfortable on feet. So to the rest of y'all, hopefully all y'all will wake up and go ahead and get yourself a pair, whether it is domestic or international. But folks, this is Taikisa. Let's get into this real quick, y'all, before I go into the end. We got the battle over here, the medial front, back, out. So um, that's pretty much it. So go ahead and put that down on the floor. Hey, any questions or concerns, please hit me up information right there on my screen as far as hitting me up on IG I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have as long as it's now no scammer shit um <laughs> just keeping it a buck and um you know if you just want to chop it up hey come and hit me up and I'll be more than happy to answer that question um other than that everything else is good let's go ahead and get onto this on feet really appreciate y'all coming on board please make sure to like and share if you will because I do want to get the love of the shoe from me to you all out there as quickly as possible but I am a patient person all right, let's get to it. Thank y'all for watching. Let's go. Thank you.